ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Friday. So you guys just saw that meme, and you guys know what that meme means. That means we have another tale coming from the Pissy Pie Piper. So if you guys don't know, yesterday we reported on Instagram. If you're not following me, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is lit and popping, okay? So we reported yesterday on Instagram that R. Kelly made his debut. He came back to social media, and he came back singing a song to his daughter, Joanne, because it was her birthday. Y'all go ahead and check this out real quick. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear daughter Joanne, happy birthday to you, happy birthday baby daddy love you, I love you, no matter what I love you so much. All right, so you guys just saw R. Kelly singing a small ditty for his daughter. So anyhow, what else is going on is on top of R. Kelly coming back to social media, um, Drea Kelly also decided to come back to social media and announce to the world that she's going to be joining Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta. So this shocked a lot of people. A lot of people are like, first of all, you're grown. Why are you going from reality TV show to reality TV show? What the hell is the point of this? And once again, you're still running around here using the last name Kelly. I want y'all to go ahead and watch this snippet from Growing Up Hip Hop ATL. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I don't know what it's like to be R. Kelly's child. I only know what it's like to be his ex-wife. Drea Kelly. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. And once again, like I've been telling y'all, I am not shocked nor am I surprised by anything that Drea Kelly's involved in. Again, this is not to say that she was not abused. This is not to say that she's not a victim of abuse. But her moves that she's making and the fact that she's still using this man's last name just makes me continue to give her the side eye, okay? And then it's like... Okay, you're on Grown Up Hip Hop. What do you do? You know, what does your daughter do? Is your daughter a singer? Is she a hip hop artist? Like, are you guys just trying to get on reality television? So this entire situation to me is just really crazy. I may check out this season. I may not. Um, Grown Up Hip Hop is just not one of those priority shows to me. But I might check it out depending on what you guys say. Um, so in other news, another person who decided to bring their ass back to social media is Lee Daniels, okay? If you guys don't know, Lee Daniels has been strangely quiet ever since Jesse Street Meets Smullett got arrested and charged with 16 felony counts. As we all know, the last time we heard from Lee Daniels, he was on social media crying and carrying on, talking about, Jesse, you are my son. And since then, he's just been quiet. He's been ghost, okay? So the other day, he took time away from brushing his damn teeth to jump on social media and basically tell the world how him and the castmates from Empire feel. He's saying that they have experienced pain anger sadness y'all go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary hi guys i'm back oh my god this these past couple of weeks have been a freaking roller coaster we have uh, me and my cast have experienced pain and um anger and um um sadness and frustration and really don't know how to deal with it you know and because it happened everything has happened which which you are seeing tonight prior to um the incident um and this is not what the show was made for the show was made to bring america together to um to talk about the atrocities that are happening right now in the streets so anyway, both shows are on tonight. Star and Empire, they're incredible. Wow. What the fuck is going on? All right, so you guys just heard what Lee Daniels had to say. So he obviously feels bothered. But again, I'm still giving him the side eye. A lot of people still feel that maybe Lee Daniels put Jussie up to this or, you know, planted a seed in his head. You know, who knows? Again, it's going to be very interesting to see how this entire case plays out. Jussie is being defiant. He's saying that he didn't do this. So, you know, hopefully he has some evidence to back that up. If not, he might be going to jail for the next damn 64 years. Who knows, okay? So now back to R. Kelly. 
If you guys don't know, R. Kelly's currently trending this morning. And the reason why he's trending is because he went back to court today and he's trying to ask the courts to allow him to go perform in Dubai. If you guys don't know, this whole mute R. Kelly situation is crazy. They've literally got him muted and banned from every juke joint, nightclub, concert hall in the country. So R. Kelly cannot perform anywhere. And because he can't perform anywhere in the United States, he has no money coming in. He literally only has about 300 grand in his bank account. Plus, he has to pay child support. You know, he has to pay for his expenses, his house, you know, just all types of stuff. And right now he can't do that because he has no income coming in whatsoever. He's been dropped by his label and everything else. So today he went to court to petition the courts to allow him to travel to Dubai um, because he had booked the gig before all this stuff went down. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. He is heading back to court in Chicago this morning. He is hoping the judge in his criminal case will now let him travel to the Middle East. In court papers filed this week, Kelly says he is supposed to perform three to five shows next month in Dubai and meet members of the royal family. Tarika Duncan is outside the courthouse in Chicago with more on Robert Kelly. Tarika, good morning to you. Good, good morning to you. When R. Kelly decided that he was going to surrender that passport last month on bond, he also agreed to ask the judge just for permission to leave the state. Well, now he's saying that because of his reputation and financial situation, he must travel overseas in order to make money. With his legal problems mounting and his U.S. concerts canceled, R. Kelly says he's been offered a financial lifeline over 7,000 miles away. He's booked several shows in Dubai in April, a contract signed before he was arrested in February on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Three of his four alleged victims were 16 years old or younger. He's obviously upset that he can't move about and play concerts and and go about his business. His attorney, Steve Greenberg, says Kelly is now struggling to find his legal defense, make child support payments, and pay day-to-day -day expenses. He's got to go where he can make a living, and that happens to be where someone is willing to pay him to perform, and he can get a venue. Despite churning out hit songs for decades, Kelly told Gail King earlier this month he only had about $350,000 left in his bank account. When you have 30 years of success, Unfortunately, it's, it becomes the gift and the curse. People tricking me, managers, road managers, accountants, you know, I uh, never knew any parts of the business. I just knew music, and I wanted to do music. The three-time Grammy winner has been dropped by his record label. Streaming services have removed his songs. Twice, he's relied on friends and fans to get him out of jail, paying his $100,000 bond and more than $161,000 in back child support. He's not going to hide. He's not going to flee. And frankly, if someone was going to flee, they wouldn't ask for permission to flee. Kelly has pleaded not guilty to the criminal charges. Now, the group known as Mute R. Kelly, organizers from that group sent a letter to the judge asking for the judge to reject Kelly's travel plans, noting in that letter that many of Kelly's alleged victims were met at a concert of his. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So this entire situation is crazy. You know, they're saying that he's not going into hiding. He's not going to flee. He's a very recognizable man. And, um, you know, he needs to get money. And, and honestly, even though I'm not a fan of R. Kelly and his antics, I definitely agree that he should be allowed to perform. If, my thing is, like I always tell you guys, the only person you control in life is yourself, okay? If you don't like R. Kelly and you don't want to support him, by all means, don't do that. But if there's other people who still want to support him, who still want to rock with him, that is their damn business. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, people out here still watching Roman Polanski movies. Brian Singer done, you know, raped and molested all types of boys. Y'all are still watching Bohemian Rhapsody. Y'all are going to go see every X-Men movie. Movie. So again, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You know, how do they expect this man to pay child support? to pay for his cost of living if he has no income coming in. You can't pay child support if you can't work. And like I stated before, he doesn't know how to read, he doesn't know how to write, he doesn't know arithmetic. So there's not a lot of work that R. Kelly can go out here doing, okay? If the only thing that this man can do is sing and they don't want to allow him to sing in the United States, then they should allow him to go sing in other countries. But with that being said, 
But with that being said, he needs to be watched closely. I think they should have, um, you know, an agent, a police officer, somebody who's not a part of his fucking yes man entourage, because that's what he runs with, a bunch of yes men, somebody who's not a part of his yes man entourage to sit and watch the singer to make sure that all he does is go on stage, put on a good show, get his ass off stage, go back to his hotel room by his damn self, or at least with somebody who's over the age of damn 21, you know what I'm saying, and then fly back to America. So I think they can make this happen for him. I don't think he should just be allowed to just go out there by himself with his Jessamyn entourage because, again, that makes room for error where he could be trying to holler at girls at the concert and, you know, trying to mess with girls in Dubai who might be underage and things like that. But, again, how do they expect this man to make a living? How do they expect for him to pay, you know, for his lawyer fees, his child support, if he cannot work? And being that nobody's allowing him to work and sing and, you know, perform his profession here in the United States, he's going to have to go overseas. So it's definitely a double-edged sword, you know, and it's definitely a double-edged sword. You can't say that, you know, he's a deadbeat father and he should pay his child support and then not give him a way to be able to pay that child support, you know? So right now he's literally relying on his fans and some close friends to help him out. It's going to be be very interesting to see how all this plays out so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning r kelly him coming back to social media him begging the courts to allow him to go to dubai what do you guys think about that and then how do you guys feel about lee daniels coming back to social media as well and you know talking for himself and the cast of empire and then last but not least how do you guys feel about drea i refuse to change my last name kelly how do you guys feel about her going on to love and hip hop ATL. Are y'all here for it or do you feel like once again she's clout chasing via R. Kelly? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.